Hi, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop. I'm probably right. Was it a flagrant foul? If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. We all expected this to be a competitive game because these two teams play each other tight and close, and it makes for great basketball. Minus the drama, but you have Chicago and Indiana Fever, Reese and Caitlin Clark. Whenever those two names are mentioned in the same sentence, you should expect drama. That's just the way it is, spilling over from their college days into the pros. So in the first quarter, Chicago won the tip, scored the first basket, Indiana would score immediately after, and this is how the first quarter went right up until the end of the quarter. The two teams traded basket back and forth. Chicago would hold for the last basket, Harrison finishing with a layup and getting the and one personal foul call against Caitlin Clark for Chicago to take the quarter 26-23. In the second quarter, the Fever would go on a mini run, outscoring the Sky by seven points. Contributors in that quarter were Kelsey Mitchell, who scored seven of her 17 points, and Katie Lou Samuelson, who scored two three-pointers, and the last one being a huge three-pointer by Samuelson on a missed free throw that would have tied the game to go into halftime. Instead, Harrison missed the free throw. Samuelson scooped it up for a big three-point bucket, taking the Fever into halftime with a four-point lead. Fever won the second quarter, 24-17. Into the third quarter, Chicago would come out with some fight on the hot hands of Mayberry and Kennedy Carter, trying hard to put some gap between themselves and the Fever. However, the Fever had Boston on their side, who put up 19 points, 14 rebounds, and five blocks. Seven of those rebounds came in the third quarter, as well as two of those blocks. This was also the quarter in which Reese was assessed a flagrant one foul. Clark went in and up for the layup. Reese tried to block the ball from behind and caught her across the head with a hard foul, knocking her to the floor. After the referees reviewed the tape, Reese was hit with a flagrant one. Clark went to the line for two free throws. Now, was this a flagrant one foul? Let's go to the tape. I'm looking at it. I'm calling this a flagrant one all day. This is called a flagrant one foul in the WNBA and in the NBA and any basketball um, that is played professionally. Um, no matter what your intention is, and yes, it's a basketball play, the fact that she got no ball and all head is a flagrant one foul. The intentions doesn't really matter here. Yes, it's a basketball play, but again, she got all head, no ball, so flagrant one. Chicago will eventually win the third quarter, 23-21, by two points. Into the fourth quarter, it seems the entire Indiana squad took offense to Reese's hard foul on Clark, and each one of them contributed something in the fourth quarter, with Clark herself knocking down a three-pointer to put the icing on the cake, winning the quarter 23-17. The Chicago rookies did their best to keep up with the Fever squad, both scoring double-digit points and rebounds, Cardozo going for 10 points and 10 rebounds, and Angel Reese tying, tying the rookie record for six consecutive double-doubles with 11 points, 13 rebounds, and also chipping in five assists. When it was all said and done, the Indiana Fever defeated Chicago Sky for a second time, 91-83. to Both Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, along with Fever's head coach, Christy Sides, when asked, gave their opinion on the flagrant one foul. Let's take a flagrant look. Foul. How do you kind of draw the line as the leader of the team between wanting them to keep their composure, but also wanting, you know, the team to have her back in moments like this? Yeah, you know... Um, I was really proud of how they all kept their composure. Um, and the right call was made in that moment. Flagrant one, two free throws in the ball. Just, just make the right call in those, in those moments and we can move forward. But when we don't make the right call in those moments, that's when there's a problem. Angel Reese, what's going through your mind and how you just stay within yourself to finish the game? What's going through my mind is I need to make these two free throws. That's all I'm thinking about. Um, it's just a part of basketball. It is what it is. Um, you know, she's trying to play, make a play on the ball and, and, and get the block. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it happens. And uh, those those free throws, when you have to shoot them with nobody at the line, are kind of hard. So it's a little like different. that was the appropriate call. Or it's a basketball play. I can't control the refs. They affected the game, obviously, a lot tonight. So. But it did look like you were going for the ball. I mean, I'm always going for the ball. But y'all going to play that clip, what, 20 times? 
Like I said, it is a basketball play, but it's also a flagrant foul, which is also a part of basketball. The two teams will meet again Sunday, June 23rd, and I, for one, cannot 